it is important to note that opinions about programming languages will vary widely. It's very important. And what one person dislikes, another may not love. Additionally, the reasons for disliking a programming language are often subjective and can depend on personal preferences, project requirements, or familiarity with the language. I don't like this program. This being said, here are a few programming languages that has been criticized by many developers, along with some common reasons for the dislike. <laughs> First one is COBOL, Common Business Oriented Language. Some people dislike COBOL due to its outdated syntax and less intuitive compared to modern programming languages. It also lacks many features found in contemporary languages, making it less appealing for developers who prefer working with more versatile and feature-rich tools. COBOL is often considered complex and difficult for newcomers to learn, and also it's less relevant in today's tech landscape. COBOL is mostly associated with legacy systems, and some developers face challenges in maintaining and updating this language. Next one is white space. This language syntax usually relies on identification and spaces, making it very challenging to read and understand for developers. It makes the code harder to read. For example, if there's a space or tab, it's very difficult to understand whether it has a functional significance or it's just used for formatting. Inconsistent or extensive usage of white space can also lead to errors, especially for languages where identification is very necessary for code structure, something similar to Python. Let chat GPT do it. White space changes in code can cause unnecessary conflicts in version control systems like Git making collaboration and code merging really challenging. Extensive identification and spacing can lead to wasted screen space, making it harder to read and compare code. Next one is PHP, Hypertext Preprocessor. Don't get me wrong, but let me tell you the reason why some programmers hate PHP, even though it's widely used in many websites. PHP has a history of inconsistent function names and parameter orders, which can lead to confusion and make it challenging for some developers to remember all those. PHP is a loosely typed language, meaning variable types can change implicitly. This lack of strict typing can lead to unexpected behaviors and bugs that are harder to catch during development. Also due to the security reasons, PHP has faced many security vulnerabilities in the past and poorly written PHP code can be susceptible to common security threats if not properly secured and validated. And it also has an inconsistent standard library making it harder for developers to find and use built-in functions seamlessly. Next one is Visual Basic. We have technology. Most of you might have heard this or uh, learned this at least once but it's a less powerful language compared to its alternatives and it's often associated with older Windows applications. Visual Basic has a more limited ecosystem with fewer libraries compared to its languages like C Sharp or Python, making it less attractive for developers who seek a robust set of tools and resources. VB has a smaller and less active community compared to its other languages, resulting in fewer online resources, tutorials, and community-driven support which can be frustrating for developers seeking help. Many organizations are also moving away from V8 due to its legacy status, and the process of migrating VB to more modern languages can be complex and resource intensive, leading to a negative perception of the language. Next one is Perl, known for its write-only code, where it can be challenging to read and maintain. First, its syntax is criticized for being less readable, making it challenging for programmers to understand and maintain. The use of singles and plethora of special characters in Perl can be seen as excessive and confusing, leading to code that can appear cluttered or hard to follow. Perl's there's more than one way to do it philosophy can lead to code bases with diverse coding styles, making collaboration and maintenance more difficult for some developers. Perl has a historic legacy. It's a write-only language, meaning where code is considered easy to write but hard to read has contributed to a negative perception among some developers. If you enjoy watching the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to show your support. Next one is assembly language, low level and requires dealing with hardware details, making it less user friendly compared to its higher level languages. It is low level and completely tied to the hardware, making it more complex and challenging for programmers to work with. Assembly languages require more lines of code to perform tasks, leading to verbose and less readable code. Also platform dependent, meaning programs written in assembly are often specific to a particular computer architecture, limiting their portability across different platforms. Learning assembly can be very hard for beginners due to its direct relationship with machine code and need to understand few things in computer architecture as well. Next one is basic beginners all-purpose symbolic instruction code. Basic is often criticized with its simplicity as it lacks some advanced features and structures found in some other languages. This limitation can make it less suitable for complex programming tasks. There is also a statement called go to in basic that allows unconditional jumps to other parts of the code making programs difficult to read and maintain. Also it lacks modern software engineering features such as structured programming constructs and proper support for modular 
memorization. This makes it less suitable for large scale projects. Next programming language is Brain. Extremely minimalistic, designed more as a challenge or joke than for practical use. First, it's intentionally minimalistic. It has only eight simple commands. This extreme simplicity can make code written brain hard to read and understand leading to frustration and dislike next one it has a very steep learning curve making it very challenging for developers to grasp and also as i already said it's primarily designed as a joke rather than for practical everyday programming tasks its impracticality for real world applications makes people question its purpose and relevance also has a verbose code base achieving even simple tasks requires writing long and convoluted code it is totally contrast compared to its other programming languages like javascript java python and so on Next stated language is Fortran, Formula Translation. Fortran is a general purpose compiler based programming language used to run complex mathematical calculations and data operations. It has outdated syntax and less expressive compared to other programming languages. Next, Fortran standard library is perceived as limited, lacking many of its built in functions and modules that developers have come to expect in more contemporary languages. Fortran lacks some features commonly found in modern languages, such as object oriented programming and advanced data structures, which may limit its applicability in certain domains. Next one, it has a steep learning curve similar to the rest of the languages I said. As a beginner, if you start learning it, it will potentially discourage individuals from learning programming. Next one is Smallball. It is intentionally difficult to use and understand. It uses unconventional instructions and makes challenging for programmers even to write simpler programs. Its code also is unreadable. Goes against the principle of good coding practices. Smallball is also not practical for real world programming tasks. Its difficulty makes it unsuitable for real time applications and projects. It is essential to keep in mind that different developers have different specification and needs and the language listed here have their strengths and use cases despite criticism additionally languages preferences can change over time as some languages evolve and new features are introduced do you hate any programming language let me know in the comments below